and welcome to the Soundcraft video manual series. Today, we'll continue to expand on some dock concepts for using with the UI24R. Now that we're more familiar with patching audio back into the mixer, let's try to do it in a multi-tracking session. With multi-track playback, you can take audio recorded from the UI24 and send it back to the same channels on the mixer so that you can practice mixing without your band present. I'll be using Pro Tools today, but these concepts will translate to most DAWs available on the market. Let's get started. In this example, I've recorded a drummer with multiple microphones. Now I want to bring each one of these recorded channels back into the mixer on their respective channels so that I can practice mixing with the UI24. First, we need to head to the UI24 settings and select the patching tab. I'm going to be using the sound check feature to easily toggle between the sends coming from my DAW and the mixer's physical inputs with a single button. On the left side of the patching grid, select the sound check button. This should automatically select the USB A on the top side of the grid, showing us the default sound check patching of the USB stick channels. Select the USB DAW 1 through 16 on the top of the grid. I only need six channels for this example, but let's set it up like I want to utilize all of the mixer's channels. Simply select the patch one to one button in the bottom left side of the patching grid. This will automatically patch our USB DAW channels into every available mixer channel up to the line inputs. Go ahead and activate sound check by pressing the activate sound check button in the top right corner of the patching grid. A green SC will also show in the snapshot name window to indicate that sound check is on. Now let's go back to our DAW. In the DAW, we'll again be selecting the output channels, but this time for the individual tracks instead of our main output. In Pro Tools, this is again done through the I.O. section of the mixer view. Select the second button here, which is the audio output path selector. Select our outputs and select the desired channels. I'm gonna patch these one to one for the six channels that I need, just like the mixer. Remember that these channels here are equivalent to the blue USB DAW numbers from the UI patching screen. If you don't see some or all of the mixer's outputs, try resetting Pro Tools I.O. settings. Click Setup, then I.O. Under the Outputs tab, click the Default button. This should automatically create all the output and bus paths for you. Click OK to save your settings. Now, press play and you'll see all of our audio tracks returning back into the individual channels of the mixer. From here, I can start to add DSP like EQ and compression and practice my mix without all of the pre-gig stress. Don't forget that to get our mixer's physical mic line inputs back into our main mix, we need to disable sound check. You can do this from the patching section again or from the multi-track tab of the player section. That's all for multi-track playback. Thanks for watching. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at soundcraft.com or our Anytime Help Center at help.harmonpro.com.